How is Tohola doing? How is Tohola doing? How is Tohola doing? Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, cousins, relations, 2012, we all came here to Squaxin Island. We gave every single tribe time here on this floor who jumped into that canoe and paddled. We shared songs, dances, stories, history. We thank all of you who took their place on this floor, who shared their history on this floor. We're so humbled by all of you here to witness the work that's gone on. Next year, we're going to go to Tohola. You have the floor. Woo! Yeah, baby.
How's everybody doing? Is it warm enough? <laughs> it is about to get hotter. The girls are handing out paddles right now from the Honey Shoe crew for our invitation to next year's journeys. A little about that song, it was created for the Oliver Canoe family on request. Shannon Kamina, Casey Swimfin, and Doug James. We all made up three parts of this song. We have one more to bring the girls off. We also shared it with Noah Charlie from a How Is It. Well, while we're getting ready, please, if we could ask that, that there be no recordings during this song, if you could take off your, turn off your camcorders, your cell On behalf of the Quinault Indian Nation, this man here, Sayata Uligun, apprenticed some young men in the village. He's been our carver our cultural leader. These two men, Sayata Uligun, Waishkish, seated head men along the Queen Nile. Put their work, their heart, their soul. Turn this artwork into a living being. We call Nokedjak, a village along the Queen Isle River. Nokedjak is the name of this Lukil. We would like to gift this on behalf of of the Quinault Indian Nation to the people of Squaxin Island. <laughs> Through our teachings at home, to validate such a gift as this. We come out with Klukwana, with our headdresses, with the wolves, validating our gift from Quinault Nation to Squaxin. We're going to go on with a little more of our box of treasure, we have a few more things that, that we would like to do. We would like to share with you, with all of you here today. So we'll continue on with, with our part of the floor. Here, Sitting with us, we have, we have our elders and we have our council representatives from Quinault Nation. We'd like to uphold them for their teachings and the fight that the council does to ensure our way of life is protected at home. a way of life that this is <laughs> ensuring that we 
we can potlatch, that we can dig clams, that we can hunt and do the things that we do as Indian people. We'd like to thank them for coming up and sitting with us. Thank you.
at home along the coast. The Elk Society was a big part of our life. Hunters would go to the mountains and they would hunt elk. Was a large staple of our food. That song there is, is one of the oldest songs within our village. It comes from the village of, of Cleats, up at the confluence of the Clearwater River and the Cleats River. It belonged to the man of Charlie Moses. And there's a few people within this group of circle here that carry that on still to this day. It's the Oak Wheel. Squawks Island Tribe wanted to make a quick announcement here. We apologize for the sunshine. <laughs> but we'd like to accommodate you. The pool is open. And we weren't allowing cutoffs, but now we're allowing cutoffs. And I uh, just wanted to let everybody know the pool is open. The tide is high. This upcoming song, if anybody knows it, just come on down.
That song there was composed by, by a young man here, Quichilish. That song is a love song. He wants to know if everybody's in love. We can feel the love down here, the Oak Wheel. This next song here, uh, we call it Coastal Love. If anybody in the house knows it, they're welcome to come up and join us. Uh -oh. Yeah. 
That last song, Coastal Love, composed by two of our own from Quinault and a brother from Ho, myself, Dothseek Ted, Shannon Kamenow, Craig Purser, and brother Jarvis Williams. <laughs> 